Uh, obtain the bolt 52. So that was actually an optional quest for this? Huh. Oh, that's right. He said if you find this computer, feel free to wipe it or something like that. I do remember that now. I do remember that now. So I need to get into that room upstairs. It appears... Oh. Cool. I can enter from the front door now. So now we got to find wraps that swallowed the guy that had the key. Or a dead guy. Okay. Easy peasy. Your dead friend was very easy to find. Oh. Ah, come on. There we go. Ah, phew. Thank you so much. It's not like she hiccuped when I opened the door. stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Mm-hmm. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, huh? Oh, and Yoka knows her? Oh, hi, Nyoka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm... Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. <laughs> uh... You sure you're okay? Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... Hey, who's your identical, slightly blurry friend? <laughs> Alright, uh, good luck. Thanks a lot, mister. Yeah, I expected more XP for that, oh well. Still love the uh, highlight everything near you perk I got. Obtain the Bolt 52. Okay, so that button, this little gizmo we just got was the Bolt 52. So I gotta say, I'm wondering if the town already has automated defenses and what we just got was something that activates them. That's my muck thought. Let's head back to turn this on. Can I actually order one of those diet soap capsule packs through you? This unit has exhausted its library of pre-approved responses. Resetting library now. What? It's real fortunate that you're useful in a fight, you know? Exhausted his library of pre-approved responses? She wanted to pre-order some soap. He said to buy some soap earlier. Twenty-eighth annual Toss Ball series. Twenty-eighth annual. That means no one on the Hope, which has been like frozen for 70 years, has ever heard of Toss Ball, right? Some quick math. Let's put our gun away and not scare anybody. Well, I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend Nyoka. I uh, gave her pills. Sir, please stop. Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. Anyway, what can I do for you? Ah. Uh, I found your review in a terminal in the arms building. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. Um. You sent me into a rapted, uninfested mess to clean up after you. I didn't mean for any harm to come to you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. It's not a big deal, I my guy. I everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and oh, for God. years, I was a joke to them. Your left kidney? Uh, one of the executives required a transplant. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. Did it? Apparently not. <laughs> uh, well, who cares what they think? You're in charge now. In charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. Tiger, do you need it to live? Or do you just are you just asking because you're psycho? Uh, you made it work. None of the other execs did. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Or was there something else? Uh, 
I need MSI to stop broadcasting or jamming Devil's Peak Station. You think we're the problem? Have you even heard the nonsense Graham is spewing? It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. There must be another... Okay, I'll deal with Graham. Right now I'm talking to you. My, you know how to take control of a situation, don't you? Oh, he, he likes this. It's warm in here. Is anyone else warm? <laughs> what he means to say is that we won't need that frequency once we're able to get MSI restored to the board. And the first step is getting the Bolt 52. Yo, that lie. Oh, oh my, you know how to take control of a situation. It's warm in here. Is anyone else warm? <laughs> uh, give him the Bolt 52. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. Whoa. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. How exactly is this going to help? What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by 10. Build of liquidation slash transfer form 52. That's what the Bolt 52 is. We're only assigning them to a pass through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Uh. Finally, they'll get their comeuppance. Sort of. Really, we're just going to blackmail them into offering us a seat at the table. But really. Whatever gets you excited about the idea. It's definitely a firm middle finger. <laughs> I can get behind that. That's what I like to hear. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Those bastards. Tiger, I feel like you wouldn't have enough work to delegate to Azelia. Leave us to our perils, then come back cute. just to reap what they can. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. What does that mean for me? If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. <laughs> uh, sounds like you know her well enough yourself. That's part of the problem. She has certain ambitions for Stellar Bay, and I fear my asking her would give her the leverage she's been looking for. Don't get yourself worked up, sir. It's perfectly natural to have a healthy fear. So she has like a young, cute face, but her hair is for like her. grandma hair. Do you guys see that? Oh, she's not fun scary like you, just scary scary. But that's why you'll be equipped to handle her. No, it's like mostly gray with light pink highlights, and it's just like... I mean, I don't know, maybe it's the sulfur on this planet. It just looks ragged. Uh, alright. So, go to Fallbrook and get the location of an illegal corporate facility, then? Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. Alright, I'm on it. <laughs> I knew you were the right person for the job. Buy your soap. I suppose I'll leave you to it. Yeah, I don't know. Last time I bought soap, it was 2,000 uh, bits. Mmm. I met Grim, the landing pad gar. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? He did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Uh, I gotta go. All right. That was a fun talk, chat. So now... Get the look at... Wait, what was this? See the location from her. Where is she at? F okay, we're gonna take the ship there. That's crazy far away. She paid for the sober cell? Wait. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. I did, get, I did have those two mixed up. About 1 a.m. If you're looking for crew members, Ellie or Felix, they're sharing. You ever notice how our crew's a lot like that crime family? family ah, family rerun. Alright, we're gonna go a little bit longer, Chet, and then we're gonna wrap up, because it is a work night. 
We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. Thank you. Nap time. If I was Tiger, I would slide that bar all the way to the right until it said 17 hours. And wake up starving. Hmm. Is that a food or... That was a food. I just drank a bottle of maple syrup, chat. We are Canadian confirmed. Oof. I was like, is that food or drink? It was apparently food. Dude, this moon guy is so creepy. I feel like they tried to make the moon guy like the Fallout boy for this game. But the moon guy is so creepy. Stand over here in case it turns into a fight. Speaking to my left ear, will you? Right one's damaged. Last we talked, I only caught half of what you said. Well, I'm half listening. Mm, Sanjar said you know something about a corporation operating in secret on Monarch. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and okay. I'll pay you handsomely. Persuade 50. Oh, wow, look at these checks. Persuade 50. Come on, that's all you know? Here, I thought we were friends. We are friends, but them who push me end up dead. Look, I don't know if this is related... But it ain't escaped my notice that one of my regulars been lingering a little too long at the gambling bar. She's been acting twitchy, even for her. Ask at the bar about a customer who shows up bi-weekly. My staff may know more. Hmm. Hmm. You don't look like a smuggler nor a dandy. Catherine send you back here? Yep. On second thought, it's best if I don't know. What's your order? Um, need information on a regular. Twitchy, might be corporate. Let me think back. Yeah, I got a regular who's been twitchier than normal lately. Every time she bets, she loses big. Then she pounds a mountain of daiquiris upstairs. To queries. You ought to ask Yvonne. She'd know Ms. Twitchy better than me. All right. Yvonne. Yvonne, there, there she is. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Folks I never met Whoa, before. Whoa, it's called Fashion Chat. Look kind. it up. So, what's your story? Hmm. I'm looking for someone. Twitchy burns through to queries when she loses big. Well, that does ring a bell. I remember one lady. She never penned a name in the book. Her friend Huxley placed the collateral for her. Huxley's with you, the Tiger. Iconoclasts. Know of her? She's not quite all there. Oh, I don't like the Iconoclasts. Huxley drinks here? I'm surprised she can operate the door when she's hammered. <laughs> Does give her trouble from time to time. Once she got stuck in the bathroom, had to break a window to get out. Anywho, she's probably in Amber Heights with the rest of Graham's Iconoclast folks. Ah. Uh... Just passing through. All right. Okay. Team. Yeah, I don't think I need to do anything there. All right. Go a little bit more. As I say, once again, I'm going to share that uh, tip for Supernova. Like, if you ever need to save the game, because you can only save on the ship, but it'll say it uh, it'll force a save when it doesn't auto save. So, like, if you're just like you know you're playing and you're like, oh gosh, I have to get off the computer right now, do a um, do a fast travel to your ship. It makes the auto save before the fast travel, 
and then vacuum just pack, pull. close the game. MTS, and when you reload, filter. you'll be where you were standing. No. They may patch that out, Muck. Uh, I would be fine if they did, Tiger, but right now that's how it works. I, I would be completely fine if they removed that, as well as uh, seeing that action cam every single time you use their abilities. Aw, oh, crap. Oh, shoot. How do we... Please tell me I can get down there from this side. Dude, that sound, that sound makes me wince. Acrophobia. After repeatedly falling from great heights, you no longer function well when the ground is far beneath you. Wait, is this just like when you're jumping? Sure. All right, uh, where's the thing for stuff that you're carrying is half weight? Here we go, 50% consumable weight. I've been thinking about this. So we're at 209. I just lost 50 pounds. I'm carrying 100 pounds of consumables, chat. Tiger, why didn't you tell me? Would you like this unit to tidy up? We ought to be quick about this. A trail of blood leads away from the auto loader. Yeah, I could have gotten 100 pounds. It's fine, though. I'll just get fear of salmon later, and then I'll get it. Uh, where's the trail of blood? I'm definitely not seeing it. Over that way? What? There. Ah, okay. I told you to store your costumes. Never! Please be far enough away. I don't even. Was that a turret? I couldn't tell. of traps here, chat. Oh my gosh. What the crap? Oh my god, dude. I was like, was there some kind of dart gun trap in here? You you fooled me. There, the panic wasn't there, but I was confused. Fifty XP. Whoa, that killed a bunch of sprats. There was a bunch of sprats in range of that mine. Finally, I'm not the one getting concussed. Oh. Started to donate things to the box. That's not what I wanted. No, no, no! I got stuck on the rock! Oh, no. Is that permanent? Oh, thank gosh. It went away. It went away. I thought I had broken leg until I went back to the ship. I was super sad. <laughs> 
Dude, so... This guy right there is just watching me. Stay back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? You just watched me shoot them all. <laughs> I've got moves. Just remember, I still got bullets. In case you get any funny ideas. What are you doing out here anyway? Medical 40. Let me take a look at your wounds. That feels a mite better. I'll just that's look. to give you, but I not through my last sprat worst an hour ago. What's with all the traps? A cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. What happened here? Uh, actually, wait. Catherine told me some of her couriers had gone missing out here. Nice to know she cares. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. Um, get, you think they're dead? The Marauders knew we were coming. Rigged the bridge with explosives and everything. Oh, I saw that bridge. If they found us. My guess is they found the client too. Where did the Marauders go? Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook just as soon as I've caught my breath. I did heal your wounds by looking at them. It's uh, apparently not stealing to take all this, so don't mind me. You are not allowed to get mad. <coughs> 250 bits in here. Damn, got some nimble fingers, Captain. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> okay. Oh. Casual, I don't know what emotion that symbol is trying to convey at the end of your statement. Um, I assume that you're happy that your dog is showing energy and interest in the chicken, in which case I am also happy. But I don't know what the heart is with the green circle. It makes me think of Samus Aaron. Okay, he said exit the cave and go right. I was going to shoot, and then I was like, you know what? They've almost killed all three of them. They don't need me to shoot. Please, you don't have to do this. Just let us down from here. The humidity is really... On it. Oh, wow. Wrecked. Holy crap, Sam. Did you just one-shot that guy with a soap glove? I about your outfit. It's very fashionable, I swear. Uh, did that guy just die? I thought we were on a rescue mission, but I guess I didn't make it in time. Not hack that. When there's a lot of small items on the ground, I miss the ability from Borderlands 3 where you would just like vacuum up all the loot in the area.
Whoa. Gotcha. Yeah, I watched. Uh, I watched uh, the first few seasons of the Guild. It's been. It's been a long time. Honestly, more than anything else, I, I like my memories of the guild are very sparse. I remember the guy that was a super cheapskate, and he like carried his own sliced cheese to the restaurant and would order a plain burger, then put the sliced cheese he smuggled into the restaurant on the burger. And I remember their like music video that they put out. Grabbing. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. They did a few. Uh, oh gosh. I mean, the one I saw, Felicia Day, was like the foremost character, and she was singing about being someone's like e girlfriend. I also enjoyed her uh, her role in Supernatural. That's the thing. It, I mean, I don't watch TV often, but that's the most recent thing I saw with her, and it was the Supernatural episodes. Date my avatar. Yeah, 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 that. This terminal is only to be used by UDL personnel with A237 clearance. If you're reading this without A237 clearance, please report to your supervisor for immediate termination and disciplinary action, including but not limited to fines in excess of 100,000 bits, detention in a UDL authorized incarceration center for up to 136 months, mandatory corporate policies and value seminars, revocation of company lounge and or bathroom privileges. Project Lorem Ipsum shall result in a potent, mostly non-lethal crowd control gas for use against riding agitated or excessively numerous crowns. Rich sulfur pockets make a Monarch a prime site for testing and experimentation. Early results show promise, but further research is necessary. UDL disavows all knowledge and responsibility for Lorem Ipsum. All data in this report is considered proprietary knowledge of UDL. Transfer files to external safe. That was a quest update. Messages. <clears throat> Just reporting to let you know the lab's all set up. We found a good sulfur pocket to drill into, so the data's coming in, but this place smells awful. The only local we've had to make contact with is the sublight boss in Fallbrook. She doesn't ask questions, but I'm pretty sure she's gouging us, so we're all getting sick of expired sisty bits. It's supposed to smell awful. That's the point. I don't care what the sublight is charging as long as it keeps your presence there quiet. If word gets out, we're going to spend the rest of our lives in corporate re-education seminars. I don't want to hear from you again until you have a working formula. Once we get that, you and the rest of the lab rats can come to Byzantium and live on cacao ribs for all I care. And come up with a better name for the project, something flashy and catchy, but that the rest of management will take seriously, like Waterloo or Danger Burn. I'm sick of my boss asking me why I'm forgetting to fill out parts of my reports. Uh, this terminal's the blah, 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 ultimate project titles. Uh, hack. She's going to be furious if she ever finds this list and I'm not covering for you. Make sure these are good and hidden. Thunder Dog. End Eggs Mayhem. Skunk Parade. F you Valdez. I want my race. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. She did a voiceover for Guild Wars 2. Really? Wait, that sounds familiar. I think someone may have told me that before and I've just forgotten it. Hard to believe, I know. Uh, what was she in Guild Wars 2? What was she the voice of? Wait. Am I done here? I guess I'm done here. But there's something that way. She's Zoja? Seriously? Wait. Yeah, I guess I could kind of see that. Uh, she, did, she had to change her voice just slightly. Yeah, dude, I love Zoja. She's a great character. Of course, y'all know I always play Asura. Oh, wow, did I outrun it? Wow, I outrun, I outran the mine. Uh, 
Ah, uh, didn't outrun the second one, chat. She did Vo for Dragon Age 2 DLC. Uh, Dragon Age 2. Oh man, I'd have to see the character. I played Dragon Age 2 two times all the way through because I really enjoyed it. But I can't remember Vo off the top of my head. So y'all can't see it now because of the green screen. Some of you who have been watching me since pre-green screen might remember. But I've got two Guild Wars 2 posters on my back wall um, that I've had since a few months into streaming, so it's kind of cool how all that worked out. But one of them has got Air and Zoja on it, and the other's got Ritlock and um, the male human friend of Ritlock. I can't remember his name. Logan. Ritlock and Logan on it. Wait, does it have Logan or does it only have Ritlock? I don't know. I'd have to look behind my screen. I wish you'd stop trying to clean my room. You almost knocked Frida off her wall. Customer service request. Clean Frida. Recognize. Process. And schedule. No, what? Damn it! Hand to the void, I will dismantle you if you touch that Raptodon. <laughs> Customer service request. Dismantle Raptodon. <laughs> Recognized. Processed. And scheduled. <laughs> oh my god. Frida is that giant raptodon head she has mounted in her room. Oh my god. Oh, hello. Good to see you again. Mmm, I'm looking for chastity. I hear your whist buddies. Oh, she's such a gem. She gambles with me whenever I've got time to stop through Fallbrook. Ooh, I bet she's hiding. Does that when she owes people money. I'll leave her be, though, if she doesn't want to be found. Uh, I'm not looking to shake her down or anything. I just want to ask her ask her something. Uh, okay, I guess. She's got a secret base in the middle of nowhere. I'll mark it on your map. Wow. I like how the other option was bribe, and I totally didn't have to do that. Alright, we got a mighty thirst, chat. Terror on Monarch with Ruth Bellamy as Halcyon. Alright, where is... So we gotta go back to Stellar Bay Ruins. Okay. I'm just gonna fly over to Stellar Bay, it'll be faster. If you stop in the engine room... Quit flirting. Oh, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I was clicking through the menu and then the menu closed. I'm sorry, Ada. I didn't mean to shoot you. What's up, Wisty? I just shot my ship. My librarian level one sale is selling an infinity book. Uh, I've already got the infinity chat in that. Of course, you know that, Wistful, because I saved you from like 37 Pikmin. <laughs> My arrows blotted out the sun. Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? Uh, I found a data cartridge with details of UDL's secret experiments. Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I've finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? Uh... Not so fast. What are these reformations you're talking about? I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. You... you are? You... that... 
You could do a lot of good around here, you know. Don't go getting my hopes up. But that's entirely the point. We've got to hope. We have got to partake once more of the full resources and opportunities of Halcyon. What about the folks out in the wilderness? Amber Heights, Fallbrook. Will you share with them, or will you hoard those resources here? My sincerest hope is for MSI to become a model for all of Halcyon. But we must start somewhere. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit. The I never played uh, that data. You're the DA2 to DLC. I don't think, because it was like I, I played Dragon Age Inquisition and I loved it, and I had already played Origins, so I played Dragon Age Two. Wait, no, did I do in those order? I might have played DA2 twice when I heard Inquisition was coming out and I played Inquisition. Whatever the case was, I played DA2 twice. I don't know if I played any DA2 DLCs. All right, give them the data. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. Mighty big of you. Suppose we'll have to see if Graham's able to do the same. Believe me, you've got your work cut out for you there. Was there anything else? Uh, all right. Cool. That's one major step of a quest done. So now we have to go, what, convince the iron class to shut up? Let me see, if I go back to the ship, wait, what? I'm trying to fast travel to my ship. Okay, wait, there we go. Okay, so it wants me to go this way. Let me take a look. I'm guessing it's gonna want me to go to Fallbrook, in which case I'm just gonna pop back to the ship and fly to Fallbrook and not run 10,000 miles. I just realized the, uh, in that last spam that my bot did, it has a broken emote in it. I need to fix that. Uh, Amber Heights. No, I don't think I can fly to Amber Heights. I guess I do have to walk there. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the ship, save the game, and I think I'm going to wrap up here for the night because it's 1.34 a.m. on a work night here.